Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today will just be a short video on how to pollinate this Pinguicula moctezumae flower here. So what you're gonna need is a toothpick and some permanent marker. And you want to just make the tip of the toothpick black. Um, and the reason why I do that is so that when you're trying to fertilize the plant, you can actually see the pollen uh, contrasting on the white tip of the toothpick. Usually these flowers are pollinated by hummingbirds or flies or moths that have very long proboscises that can actually reach the, the nectar down at the bottom of the shaft here. So simply what you want to do, you want to take the opening of the flower. There's a little lip here, I mean a little um, tongue here, if this could actually focus. So as you can see, there's a little tongue just on the inside here. And on that lip, if this, my hand is the lip, you have pollen on the one side and the stigma on the other side. So the stigma is the receptive part of the female. So what you want to do is try to get the pollen on there onto the back, which is usually more easy with different plants. But seeing as a, this is the only pingucula I have at the moment busy flowering, there's nothing else we can really do. We just want to put it inside. And you may be able to see here, there is some dark stuff on the tip of the toothpick. I mean, some white stuff on the tip of the toothpick. That is the pollen. Look there. This is much better now as well. So that is the pollen. And now we want to put this pollen onto the stigma. So I just wanted to make sure with Google the side of the stigma. So this little flap has the stigma on the outside. I think I said on the inside, which is incorrect. The anther is on the inside. But you want to take your pollen and tap it onto the stigma here. Just like that. Now I'm just going to do this a little bit more. And just like that, we have now hopefully pollinated this flower. Um, it may be noted that the pinguicula flower may not actually be self-fertile, so I just did this just to try anyway, so we will see. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe as every week I'll be posting a new video on plants and more specifically carnivorous plants. So thank you guys, see you next time. Bye.